Well, what's up everyone, DSS here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to keep Aranea in your party in Final Fantasy 15 version 1.12. Now, before we get started with where the magic happens, there are a few things that you're going to want to make sure that you already have in place before you get to the point that you see that I'm currently at. First things first, make sure you have your chocobo. The reason why you're going to want your chocobo is because that is going to speed up the process a ton when it comes to keeping RNA in your party. So step one, make sure that you have your chocobo. Step two, make sure that your regalia is not the off-road variant. I know it was recently added, a pretty fun addition in my opinion. But if you have the off-road variant of the regalia, this trick will not work. So again, make sure that you do not have the off-road variant of the regalia and you will see why that is the case later in the video. Once you have made sure of those two things, here is the setup process. Go to this campground that you currently see me over, which is the Lambeth Haven, and camp here. It doesn't really matter what you eat, though I would recommend if you have that food readily available to eat the food that decreases the depletion of the stamina of your chocobo when you sprint. And the reason for that is because you're going to be using your chocobo a lot for both the initial setup and getting to the point where RNA is actually going to show up. Once you camp here, do not camp or rest anywhere else. The next thing you're going to want to do is park your regalia at this specific parking spot, the Tollhens Stronghold. Once you park your car here, you will not be able to use your car anymore because it will be a very important part in keeping Aranea in your party. Once you have parked your regalia here, board your chocobo or run on foot if you want to get some exercise in, that's all up to you. But board the chocobo and work your way all the way back to Hammerhead. That is probably going to be the longest part of the setup unless you have a few difficulties keeping RNA in your party with the trick that we'll be using later in the video. More on that when I get there. But first things first, once you have done all of that setup and you've made it back to Hammerhead, that is where the magic begins to happen. So quite some time ago, I uploaded a video, the Adamantis exploit. <laughs> Apparently the method to get that to work was patched. However, I have an alternative method which you will be seeing right now. However, before you do that, RNA only shows up at nighttime. So I would highly recommend if it is not nighttime already, preferably it isn't because you're gonna want a little bit of time to get to the location that you're gonna wanna get to. Pick any hunt here that happens at nighttime. You will not be using that hunt, but the beauty of picking a Appreciate hunt that happens at Nighttime is that you have the option of advancing the time to 8 o'clock or 2000 hours, whatever you want to say. So after you do that, These nasties here, you're going to be attempting to do rare. the alternative variant of the Adamantis exploit, which is a little tricky. But the beauty of it is if you mess it up, you get to repeat it by simply ending the hunt and then try it again. So with the Adamantis exploit that I'm going to be showing you, you're going to be wanting to pause the game on a very specific frame. There is a frame where you will notice that your stats show up temporarily if you were to just play the hunt normally, you know, and then the screen fades and then the Adamantis shows up and then you either do the fight or cancel the fight. I recommend pausing Make because sure if you miss prepared. it, being too early is fine. I got it first try. So if you pause on the frame where those stats show up, then you're on the pause menu. Once you get to this pause menu, just press the circle button if you're on PS4 and press the select button after that. While the screen is going away, like you have quite a bit of time to press it. The reason why I use the pause button instead of the main menu button is because while the main menu button would work, if you pause too early, you can unpause the game and try to pause again. If you're too late, however, you'll have to cancel the hunt, uh, the hunt. Bring it back up by canceling it first and then trying it again. But once you gain access to the main menu, 
all you have to do is go to the map and if you remember the place that i told you to rest you will be going there now the reason why you're going to be going to this rest point is because this is actually far enough away that the game never spawns the adamantus and that is very important because if the game were to spawn the adamantus no enemies would appear on the map whatsoever no matter no matter where you go so it is very important that you more or less warp really far away and i'm going to get into specifics when we're setting up where rna is going to land because you're going to have to be pretty specific in terms of where you are where the enemy spawn where rna shows up so once you show up at the rest point go to this location that you see me marked in the map so you see that the regalia is here and you got this little bend that kind of juts out to the left you want to be like anywhere in this area so i'm going to just set a marker for right here now the thing is you do not want to stay on this main road because right around this area if you get too close then the adamantus will be in range according to the game and your hood will disappear the screen will fade to black and then it'll come back the adamantus will be out and because no enemies can show up there is no chance for rna to drop so you're gonna just want to make your way up to this point but you're gonna want to stick to the outside when you get here and i'll be showing that in the video but we're gonna cut a little bit ahead in the interest of time all right so now we've covered a bit more ground and we are really close to that area that you do not want to be in which is pretty much what you see me going across right here once you get to around this point if you want to play it a bit safer you can do it even earlier perhaps even right after you do the adamantus exploit is you want to save your game now quite a bit of time has passed which is fine because i typically like for it to be 1 a.m or 2 a.m when i get to the position where rna is going to be showing up so just gonna do a save right here just to make sure that if i were to mess something up i don't have to do the adamantus exploit again which is fairly simple to do so sometimes it can be a bit tedious if you keep missing the timing for it so after you make your save you're gonna be heading for that point on the map that i indicated earlier which is pretty much anywhere on this part where it goes out a bit so we just set it right here and then we want to go on an off-road adventure as to not hit the trigger that's going to make the adamantus spawn. So just kind of want to play this safe, stick to the outside. Uh, there are typically some enemies right here. If you encounter any enemies on the way to this location, that is fine. It will not mess up the glitch in any way, shape, or form. So once you get to around this point, highlight the parking spot because we're going to be using that as a reference and once you get to the road hop off the chocobo thanks for the ride and i like to be about 800 feet away give or take once you're about 800 feet away from the parking space make sure that you save your game once again so when you save it this time depending on the time of day as i said before rna up shows up at various time frames i tend to see her show up mostly around midnight 1 a.m 2 a.m and there you go there's rna now the beauty of this is if you mess this trick up all you have to do is load the save again and keep attempting it because she will show up if she shows up the first time you saved it now once you get the fight started face the camera behind you you want to try to keep the camera focusing on rna the entire time i like to get a magitech booster just to make sure that my mp doesn't deplete because you're going to be using a lot of warp striking the goal here is to keep the air uh, the camera facing towards rna as you make your way to the vehicle so you're kind of doing it blind just spam away with the warp strikes Let's even when this. the screen is black you should be able to get a few warp strikes in while the screen is black. If you can't, that's fine. You can just attempt it again. This time I was not able to get any warp strikes, but 
the whole point of doing this is that if Aranea is away from you as you make your way to the vehicle, she will typically not leave giving you adequate time due to the fact that the Adamantis is now out and about to make it to your vehicle. When you make it to your vehicle, get in the car manually and then immediately exit the car. Hopefully you can do this before RNA leaves. If you do, you will notice that the game does an auto save. And because the game has done an auto save and RNA, as you can see, is still clearly in the party, that makes it so that even though she has left, the game has said, hey, she was in your party when you saved the game, so I guess she was supposed to be in your party to begin with. So, once you're at this stage of the game, just hit load, go to your autosave, which is, in this situation, this one, you can tell because the autosave was done at the parking location that you parked your regalia in at the very beginning of this setup. And once this loads up, you will notice that Aranea is in a party. Now, because when I load the save up, I am in the range of the Adamantis, that is perfectly fine. Because of the location that you're in, all you're gonna wanna do is, I would say go back to the rest point that you are at. If you wanna make the long drive, then you can also drive back to Hammerhead. But the end goal is you're gonna be making it to Hammerhead, canceling the hunt, and then doing like normal. So in this case, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hop into Regalia. As you can see, RNA is still in the party. I'm gonna do auto because I'm lazy. <laughs> we're gonna go to this camping spot that we were at initially. Now, once you get to this camping spot, it's going to do a, another auto save. You can also go to this parking space if you don't wanna waste that much time. It's all up to you. Um, actually, I will do that. I'll just go to the parking space and stay it of going to the campsite. Either one works. Ideally, all I'm trying to do is get to a location so that when I load the game up, the Adamantus does not spawn so that I can then do a quick travel back to Hammerhead instead of making that long drive all the way to Hammerhead. So because I'm going to yet another parking space, once I get to the parking space, the game is going to auto save again. Just load up that auto save and then when you load up that save you will be able to quick travel to hammerhead once again if you don't want to do this you can simply drive back to hammerhead this is just more efficient and easier to follow i would say so there are going to be no more enemies showing up due to the fact that the adamantus is out and about when the adamantus is out and about no enemy spawn except for a very select situations like when you're going through special dungeons like enemies like that and also i would say enemies that are tied to specific missions will also show up but aside from that it'll be pretty barren in terms of what enemies show up so we're gonna go to the parking spot once they park it is yet again going to do a auto save and when it does the auto save i'm just gonna load up this save and then I am going to quick travel to Hammerhead. So let me just load this autosave real quick. And once the autosave has loaded up, you will notice that I have the ability to quick travel, call car, tow car, all that stuff. If you don't want to quick travel, you can also just tow the car. It's only 100 gills. Not going to cost you an arm and a leg. And it's going to more or less send you to the same location. In fact, that's probably the option that I will select. I'm not even going to hop back in the car. But yeah. Um, once you get back to Hammerhead. All you do is. You. Go cancel the mission. If you rather do it an alternative way. You can also go to like. Any location where hunts are available. Pick a different hunt. And then. There's a bunch of ways to get rid of it. But we'll just keep it simple. Keep it simple. So. Game is loaded up gonna tow the car yes i could hop in the car and quick travel that would only be a 10 gill but like 10 100 it's not a big deal we'll just tow the car back so as we make our way back just gonna go back into the restaurant cancel the adamantus hunt and then there you go you will have rna in your party in final fantasy version 
one, two. I think it's been quite some time uh, since there was a way to keep RNA in the party. Honestly, I didn't know that it was a thing. Um, one of the main things I've been trying to figure out is a way to keep Iris in the party, but that has proven to be very difficult. So I decided to take some time from that, see if I could figure out a way to keep RNA in the party in version 1.12. And it's almost as if the stars align to make this happen because without the adamantus spawning in that location which is close enough for Aranea to spawn but also in between where Aranea spawns and the parking spot that is what makes it all possible it's not particularly difficult to do i would say but it's not quite as quick of a setup as it used to be with the camping spot but the name of the game is still the same. You're simply trying to force the game to save while Aranea is in your party. And in this case, you are using a parking spot to make that dream a reality. And as you can see, Aranea has still not gone anywhere. I have tested this already. You can go to Altitia, she will stay with you. You can fight enemies, she will continue to stay with you after the battle is done. Now, there are a few things that you cannot do while RNA is in your party. One of those things, unfortunately, is ride around in the off-road regalia. The game simply will not allow you to enter the vehicle if RNA is in your party, among other things that have always been the case while RNA is in your party. But hey, there you go. So once you have done that, very important, go ahead and save your game again. And this time you'll have the game saved with RNA in your party and you will have well, access to the majority of things that you have access to when the Adamantus is not out and about. So I'm just going to save this over what I've been saving, which is right here. And there you go. There goes your save with Aranea in the party in version 1.12. Now, this will more than likely get patched. So if you would like to keep all the progress you have done and have a save with Aranea in it, I recommend you do this as quickly as possible. Cool trick. More than likely will get patched. It was fun trying to figure it out. It took quite a bit of time, but I am very happy that I was able to do it. And I hope that you will enjoy having RNA in your party in version 1.12 if you follow the steps that I did in this video. Also, let me know how you felt about the video in the comment section. What could have been better if the video could have been shorter, things could have gone more smoothly. I'm always open to feedback and I'm always open to it hearing how I could improve these videos when I do make some. So that's going to conclude getting RNA in Final Fantasy 15 version 1.12. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and until next time, peace out.